So much for that. Hey everybody, Jason Basco, Unhinged Entertainment. You're watching the channel, you know the name of it. Working on a Blood Realm cover today by Alterna Comics and uh, Stephen Geronimo? Stephen? I, I'm sorry, I'm getting that picture. I love the artwork in this book. Uh, it's fantastic. Now, I wish I knew more about it. I could tell you about it, but um, the art's great. And uh, I flipped through. I, I, I guess he maybe he didn't have a couple issues in stock, but I got like the past run, second print, third print, whatever print run there is. But great stuff, fun stuff. I love the art. Like I said, I have to read it if I can read it. Get my phone out and take me six hours to read one of them. But um, I really love the artwork in these. Um, it's stylized. I like stylized stuff. Um, it, it, my stuff stylized, so as you can tell. But uh, it's great stuff. Alterna puts out some really cool books, some really cool products. Check them out uh, on uh, their alterna.com. Uh, go through their inventory, see what you like. Uh, a very affordable stuff. Really good. Uh, I, I like comic books. I like artwork. And uh, comics are art. They go hand in hand. It's just storytelling through art. And, you know, like I said, there's some really cool stuff out there. And there's a big, it's, it's a fairly common trend, trope, whatever you want to call it, of just destroying, like, you know, mainstream or, like, there's nothing good out there. And, yes, there's a lot of great stuff in the indie scene. I'm, I like what I do. Like I said, Alterna's got some good stuff. I can list on and on about the really good stuff in the indie scene. What a lot of people tend to bash is the mainstream understandably so uh it is punk rock to rise up against the mainstream and but i think it's also important for the people in the indie sphere to do something like that to call out the bs when they see something is incorrect and be like you know what i'll just do it like it's just it's rock and roll it's metal it's punk it's it's going against the grain and giving them a little one to four if you will but eventually the rock and the metal and the punk becomes the mainstream in a way and and at what point then is it like part of the machine and no and rage against the machine blah 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 we're not talking about that but anyway and mind you i'm sorry if this video is going to be long again uh, i rant i'm ranting what do you want the old man's ranting um and that's the thing everybody says i'm grumpy i'm very positive I'm, i have hope for the mainstream and for i'm talking about comics in general here um now there are some there's things that are starting to turn around. There's some really good uh, books out there. I, I I haven't minded the... Mind you, I don't get to read them, so I can't say the storylines. I've heard great things about the Amazing Spider-Man run. Um, I hear good things about uh, what they're doing in uh, Ultimates, I think. Uh, uh, Batman, I hear some pretty decent things about. Uh, Art-wise, you're getting some bangers back. Uh, you could just flip through them. And a lot of the mainstream has been... I call it coloring book style because they rely heavily on the colorists instead of the pencilers like it used to be whenever I was young and collecting. So we were spoiled, like I said, on a stream, on my last live stream, uh, Topicless. Uh, go check it out if you want. Uh, I'll uh, have that as the last video on this, this thing if you want to check it out. But uh, uh, it, it's... I kind of lost my train of thought on that. <laughs> but it, it's important... Oh, the the coloring book thing. Like colorists tend to be doing more of the legwork in the in, in at least they were in the mainstream in the past like fifteen twenty years, maybe even ten fifteen years. And back when I was collecting, like the sh the showrunners were the, the the pencilers and the inkers uh, and the writers as well. Colorists kind of did get a back seat, which is sad because the colorists for Frog G. Mind you, he's not just a colorist, but he's amazing. So please check out Frog G. Links in the description below. But I'm not bashing colorists in that regard, but I'm actually praising them because now they're doing all the heavy lifting. Like, I mean, they're, if you look at some of the comics, at least in the past few years, it's heavily reliant on the colorist. So, yeah, so some of the stuff out there, yeah, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of garbage. A lot of garbage. And the good stuff is few and far between, but it's starting to turn around, I think, slowly very very slowly but i think a lot of people are seeing things for what they are even people that are online they're they're not in they're mainly on facebook if that you know so they they mainly are seeing the the trend dying you know the trend is dead as phil says uh and things are cyclical so 
you know, it will it will fade away. And I think it's really, it's up to the children. So I think the younger generation is where it's at. Like I was talking about musicians on Topicless and how a lot of the sons or daughters of musicians from the 80s and 90s, because they, they now have kids who are now in their 20s, their music is, is starting to have more heart and, and stuff like that than the stuff where you have like maybe the 30 year olds that are out there now it's i don't know there's just the generation gap i'm not saying all this stuff is bad like i have to like have a disclaimer in here which is i think is freaking ridiculous but you know oh gotta have a disclaimer gotta say oh jason hates everything no not everything's bad i'm not bashing these people mind you i can't do what these people do i can't do the music i can't draw like these people draw um i'm stylizing this uh, homage cover uh here i so and uh, I will have a preview of it in the beginning, uh, so I don't know why I'm saying it now. Anyway, I've rambled. I've rambled long enough. I have hope for the mainstream, even though I'm somebody who is a negative person for the most part. Because um, I love those titles. I love Daredevil. I love Batman. I, I grew up with these things. I, I, Thor. I, I lo- like, they destroyed my favorite character. The, the female Thor was a, a, abysmal. But they brought it back. Now, I haven't read it any Thor in a while, but... I do know they brought it back around, uh, and, and it, the artwork's really good still, I think. I don't know. Um, either which way, uh, Thor's Thor again. So, they do learn. You just gotta give them time. Uh, there are parts of this I mess up. Some parts I like, some parts I don't. It wasn't too bad. Um, but, yeah. So, like I said, rambled long enough. I actually went pen and ink on this because uh, Alterna's cardstock on these sketch covers is really good, and it handles my, uh, my inks pretty well. I probably shouldn't have, though, because I was like, I got my Ohuhu's out to color uh, some certain aspects of it, and I think you can't use alcohol markers over India ink. So, so yeah, this is just straight up uh, India ink, uh, except for the Posca pens. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, we'll have the pan down. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you liked it, please hit that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell for notifications. I have to say all these things at YouTube, but I really hope you do. I enjoy making these videos, uh, and I hope you like them. Thank you again. All right, there you have it. Obviously, I liked it. I didn't really toss it. That was a psych out. I don't mean to mislead you, but, you know, you got to keep these fresh. Uh, but anyway, hope you liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, check that uh, out. Check out Alterna. Also, go back Frog G, everybody. He's in fulfillment now. Sep- shipping the separate tiers that don't have the supplemental because the supplemental isn't done as of this recording. So um, back in the individual tier without the supplemental, and you'll get uh, a book uh, new sooner than you think. So please, thank you once again, everybody, for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate your feedback. I do read them all. Uh, so, yeah, I've rambled on. This whole video is a ramble. All right. Thank you once again, everybody, for watching. And as always, have a great 